What is Killing Floor 2? Killing Floor 2 is a first-person shooter created by Tripwire Interactive on the Unreal Engine 3. It was officially released on November 2016, and is a sequel to Killing Floor 1 that was released in 2009. Killing Floor 2 is a solo or six-player cooperative game that pits you against waves of mutants called Zeds. Games can be played with four, seven, or ten waves. After the final wave, you are put against one of two bosses, the Patriarch, or Dr. Hans, I like to call him Mr. Auschwitz. You can choose between a variety of perks or classes. The Berserker, which specializes in melee weapons. Commando, specializes in the automatic weapons. The Support, specializes in shotguns. The Field Medic, specializes in healing shit with your goddamn bullets. Demolitionist, specializes in explosions. Firebug, specializes in burning everything to the fucking ground. Gunslinger, specializes in pistols and dual wielding. Sharpshooter, specializes in, well, shooting. The survivalist is your wild card, I guess. And SWAT is, well, exactly what the SWAT sounds like. Aside from the perks, you have many different characters that have hilarious and unique dialogue from one another. I could make an entire video on that separately. As for the Zeds, from the weakest to toughest, you have the Cyst, the Clot, Slasher, Crawler, Stalker, Gorefist, Bloat, Gorefiend, Husk, Siren, Scrake, and the Flesh Pound. After every wave, there is a shopkeeper where you can buy and sell weapons, grenades, and armor. Once the wave starts up, you can no longer use the shop. The gore system is perfect, and blood never disappears, so you can paint the map with as much blood red goodness as your heart desires. You sick psychopaths. As for the maps, there are tons, but some of the most popular are Burning Paris, Biotics Lab, and The Outpost. Each map has different items you can find to work towards achievements. Tripwire has an ingenious idea for the weapons. They animate them at 200 frames per second, so when the game goes into slow motion, you can see every little detail moving. It's extremely detailed and very satisfying to look at. The soundtrack for this game is full of heavy metal and deathcore, and it fits the gameplay very well. It has bands like Impending Doom, Living Sacrifice, Demon Hunter, and it has the return of Killing Floor 1's Disunion by Dirge, and of course many others. Yes, there's weapon skins and cosmetics, but it doesn't give anyone an advantage, so it's solely for making your character look cool. This game is full of content. Maps, game modes, weapons, and if you enjoy first-person shooters, gore, satisfying weapons, all wrapped up into a wave-based game, then definitely check this game out. $30 is a little much, but if it's on sale, it is definitely a no-brainer. Pick up this game and you will not be disappointed. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. But of course, like always, you don't have to. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later.